Well, hello, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Look, he's back there smiling because he knows I want to do the cult meeting joke. I want to put the hood of the hoodie up in the worst way. Hold on. Hold on. Indulge me. Indulge the old lady. Nobody else does. <laughs> ah, it's stuck inside. Here we go. We can begin our cult meeting. <laughs> I know, I'm two or three. Um, I've actually been having a period, as I'm sure the guys have, that have been with me for a long time now, I've been trying to um, reset a lot of stuff. I watched a thing on Alan Cummings, whom I adore, and he talked about having had an abusive past as well, and... I go two ways on it. Some days I'm like, oh, my parents just, you know, they beat the snot out of us kids because they loved us. And then some days I'm like, yeah, my parents were abusive stuff and I have to deal with it some way. My way of dealing with stuff is usually to ignore it and it will eventually go away. And there's no problem so big I can't run away from it. <laughs> I think Loki just face palmed. And it's been interesting. And an article came up today that the author got back to me. And said they never received the email. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. But they were actually happy that I had read it and they enjoyed my commentary. And I, I told them back, you know, I, I had been told that they, you know, they have health issues as well. And since I know some days getting out of bed is a moral victory, I really didn't want to add to their stress. I really didn't want to add to everything they were going through. Um, probably didn't worry as well for them, but <laughs> you guys usually get better treatment. Um, and it was interesting to have that article come back up because it talks about Loki, obviously, and it talks about, um, how we have to hold ourselves up to a higher moral standard. And I know I fell a lot. I don't have the highest moral standard. I'm not the world's best representative of Loki. I'm not. I, I can't be that person. That's not me. Um, I try and I fail every day. <laughs> but, um... It was interesting to be reminded of that, and it was interested to be reminded of Loki because he's been doing that thing with me. He knows I have a very pessimistic outlook to the future. You guys know my situation, so I'll have to repeat myself. And he was a little young fox on the beach, like a juvenile, and he's digging this den. Dig, 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 dig. Look at me. Dig, 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 dig. Look at me, and looking at me like, do you see what I'm doing? And I was like, you're digging a den. And he's looking at me. And I'm like, you're digging a den. You're going to dig me a den? You're going to dig me a lovely den out in the forest? And I know it was Loki's way of saying he'd provide for me. And also I could think of is, you know, my inner cynic that gets me in trouble with Loki and makes his temper go off. I was thinking, you're digging your den right on the seashore, right by the waves. You're not too smart. <laughs> I thankfully did not say that out loud because I knew he was trying to be nice. I knew he was trying to show me he would provide for me. <laughs> I'm getting this angry, grumpy feeling back right now. Um, unfortunately, I tend to take after Loki's worst traits. I'm a total smartass, and I will say the first thing that comes to my mind because he used to help me as a child, so he groomed me, and he loves it until it turns on him. <laughs> And we did a ritual yesterday. That's how you got the um, music video with the candle in it um, and the crappy special effects. <laughs> but um, I did a ritual. And we are not going anywhere before you worry, but I sacrificed both channels. Because I said I have to give up on getting views, subs, likes, comments. Um, I said I just... I'm one of the millions of people that's just is never going to go anywhere on YouTube. And there's nothing I can do about it. I could spend all the money I want, get the best equipment. Um, you know, suddenly be a millionaire and it wouldn't change my fate on YouTube. So, um, that's the thing. I had to kind of come to terms with that. I even watched a thing yesterday about how to run a successful video game channel. And I know it doesn't help that I, t I speak my mind. <laughs> I know it doesn't help at all. I called my viewers brats at one point, and they were they were crying that I shouldn't have called my viewers brats. And I'm like, people are telling me to go suck my grandfather's. I'm you're lucky. I said brat. 
I said, you're lucky you're not adults. I would have really told you off. And I, that was one thing I didn't like about that channel. I had to keep counting to 10 and keep holding my tongue. Um, I never have treated children as children, as little tiny helpless things. I treat them like adults, but at the same time, I'm not going to usually roar profanity at children. I will try not to. My father did it to me all the time. And the only thing it did was expand in my vocabulary at an exponential rate. <laughs> um, you know, it's... I try not to be daddy the second. I try, and I fail, which is why I won't have my own kids. I'm like, yeah, I would be daddy the second. My brother had many a child and just abandoned them all. And I'm like, I would rather have the solution of not having them if there are children waiting to beat the shit out of mommy in the afterlife. So be it. But, um... Yeah, we just had to deal with that. I had to deal with, you know, getting a first perspective. So after I sacrificed everything, and I'd ask for some stuff in return, because that's how magic works, um, I played the pinball for this channel, because I'm like, you know what? Why not? I'm in a better mood. The pinball, for some reason, it relaxed me, and it made me more positive for the first time in a long time. Um, I'm totally burnt out on horror games. I try to play this one game again to see the ending and I could only get so far and I'm like I'm just totally burnt out I can't do this anymore I was ready to write down tears I was I was scared yeah you're supposed to be scared in a video game but it wasn't fun scared it was scared scared and I was like I can't do this anymore so I won't be playing those for a while so I'm probably going to be playing Bendy on the other channel but I ended up playing it for the other channel as well and I told them we're having a friendly little contest. And I didn't make any promises, but I said, we'll see. If I get more views over here, meaning the gaming channel, we'll see what happens. And so far, they're leading 8 to 5. Because I think some people are just, you know, looping around and watching the first 20 seconds. I can go into my, you know, info and, like, see view durations and stuff like that. Um, so I just kind of have to let go. And it's hard for me to let go. My grandparents grew up in the Depression. Um, so it was built into my parents. And it was built into me to hold on to everything you get. To hold on to every scrap you get. To hold on to every little thing you get. To never let things go. Um, because you don't know when you can replace them. Or if you can replace them. The Depression could come back. It could be that bad. Um, so yeah, I have that problem of letting stuff go. You remember what a fiasco it was for Loki to try to get the scarecrows and the jack-o'-lanterns off me? They had to go. I didn't really have the room, da da da. But it's it's just built into me. I never let go of stuff. So I kind of have to learn to let those go. And I have to learn to let the future go and a lot of other stuff go too. Not in a bad way, but um, sometimes we just have to have faith in Loki, especially when we can't see a way through. He's a capable god. He acts like he's not, but he's a totally capable god that didn't take care of a human being, more or less. <laughs> god, hey! Um, he's been helping. You guys know, it takes sometimes ten or more takes to do this. So, every time I've been doing a take, he's been back or singing pretty songs. He was singing I Don't Care, I Don't Know If I Told You This Take. They made up a bad word song. And then there is a song about a certain bad one. He was singing that song. So he's having, he's having fun. He's helping. I am still sleepy. I had um, a couple sips of coffee. So I'm going to let this go for now. But I just kind of wanted to catch up with you guys. We we did our Halloween ritual. And um, I'm glad we did it when we did it. Because I'm like, Halloween for me, it's pretty secular. I... We'll hopefully find some movies to watch or some game to play or something to do. And, you know, I kind of am looking forward to the month being over. So I know where a lot of things are going to stand. Um, I would like to not get any trick-or-treaters at all because I'm greedy. You know, get candy for me. And also because I really don't want to, you know, encourage them to be on that road. That's not a good road. So... I just, I kind of want the month to be over. I'm looking forward to Halloween, but at the same time, I'm like, please, month, be over. So I'll be kind of doubly happy on Halloween, because it's the end of the month. So I will be happy, and things will get easier for me. I'm hoping he does not come back next week. It's been pretty cold. It doesn't look like the grass is growing at all. I'm like, I understand he's in a business, has to provide for himself and his family and his workers and that, but I'm struggling here. I would really hope he doesn't come back, so wish for cold weather so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and i will see you later bye bye